Well, there was also they did a final gameplay trailer for Jedi Survivor. Should we check that out? Yeah. Jedi Survivor, here we go. You were only a child when they sent you off to war. Yeah, them Clone Wars be a bitch. Now look at him. The weight of a galaxy on your shoulders. <laughs> I tell you to be more careful about who you scan. Come on. So that thing has been upgraded a bit because I don't remember it having little jet propulsion systems uh, from the first game, but it's been a while since I've gone through the first game. Yeah, it's been a while for me as well. I cannot tell you who you must become. Oh. Sounds like Kraya. Looks like uh, they do have the limb detachment in this. Look at that. You must be calm. Boom. Interesting. Like, hang on. Let me try. And... Like, yeah, you can see right there. It looks like his leg is gone. <laughs> it's severed right there. Be calm. Wait, did I? Or where the line is drawn. Bam. There are no easy choices. Okay, this is my definite big problem with this. Is that you are apparently able to fully explore the section available of on Coruscant. I'm sorry, yeah. but how or why are you allowed to go on the Coruscant and actually investigate it when you're in the heart of the Empire? When Palpatine is in full control... How are you managing to sneak in there? Right. And be able to explore it and do whatever for... I mean, I... <sighs> These are dark times. We have few allies. Good to see you, Gal. The odds are against us. And they will always be against us. <laughs> Now or never. Seems our destinies are intertwined. This looks like more like somebody from. Is that Destiny. Mr. Anderson from? Is that Hugo Morin or not Hugh? Uh, who played Mr. Anderson off? That voice oh, sounded like him. Hugo Weaving. Yes, that sounded like Hugo Weaving. Huh. I'll, I'll have to check the IMDb after this, but. I don't know, like, doesn't this look like a character from Des the Destiny 2 or something like that? Yeah. Like, that's what this comes off to me like. Yeah. Our destinies are intertwined. That's you. No, I think that's um um Steven Bloom. Really? Who has voiced characters like um Ogren from Dragon Age Origins. That one thousand percent sounds like Hugo Weaving. I probably no, wrong. No, it doesn't. What? Now that I heard it, uh, it no, it's Are not you sure. Him. Pretty pretty sure. Positive. Ah, uh, pretty positive. I'll even I'll even double check, but. But I can tell you this: if there is any hope of surviving, we must stand. Against the darkness. What the hell? What the hell was that? What the hell is, is that it? thing? What is it? I'm just, I was just like, what the hell? I just can't see what the hell. Like, it's like some weird bird. It's like a weird mutant chocobo thing. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, 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 hang on. Is he... 
is he supposed to be like one of the guy, like the dirge from Clone War, from the Tartavowski Clone Wars? Like no, looking at his it, arm no, like that? Is. Huh. <laughs> Is yeah. this thing out yet? No, April 28th, so the end of the month. This game's getting hyped. People are it is getting a lot of attention, yes. Because it was the, the first game was kind of a... Um, Big deal. Kind of. Because it was, again... When after the some of the sequel, some of the Disney trilogy movies had come out, it was a story that was actually just you know okay. Like I've always said, it was just an okay storyline. But so yeah, this one's getting a little bit more hyped up. I mean, if they stick to what they were doing with, it, but because they had sam mags on this project yeah. i'm not oh, i'm not suspecting a good storyline so Probably get ready not. for disappointment folks 